Hello and welcome to the Quick Train Modeler version 830 and 831 What's New video. In this video, we'll cover the top new tools that have been introduced in both of these releases, 830 and 831. The biggest news is the three new toolkits, the Dem Toolkit, Point Cloud Toolkit, and Tiling Toolkit. And then we'll cover some of the bigger new tools. If you want the complete release notes, please contact Applied Imagery and we'll send those to you on email. While QT Modeler's three new toolkits look very similar, they have very specialized purposes. The DEM toolkit allows users to preview DEMs, carve out areas of interest, and load into the 3D scene. It also permits downsampling, which enables loading much larger areas. The point cloud toolkit is also a preliminary exploitation step, but optimized for point clouds. It allows users to load entire collections of point clouds and then carve out areas of interest potentially downsample or filter them and load them into the 3D scene. Lastly, the Tiling Toolkit is more of a data management or data processing tool. It allows users to load entire surveys as point clouds into the toolkit, establish a manageable and customized tiling scheme, and then cut the survey into tiles. These tiles can be exported as LAS, LAZ, or GeoTIFF DEMs. So here's the DEM Toolkit in action. Open the DEM Toolkit from the DEM Toolkit button or from the Import menu. Select DEMs, load them into the Previewer, carve out an area with the AOI tool, choose a downsampling, and bring it into the 3D scene. Here's the Point Cloud Toolkit in action. Open the Point Cloud Toolkit with the button or from the Import menu. Load a collection or individual files. In this case, this is a collection of 350 LAZ files. Zoom in. Use the Area of Interest tool to carve out a specific area of interest. And load that into the 3D scene. And here's the Tiling Toolkit in action. Open the Tiling Toolkit from the button or from the Import menu. Select Files to load in to the Previewer. Choose a tile size. Here I'll choose 1,000 meters. Calculate tiles. Choose a naming scheme. Choose an output folder and a file format and click Do It. The files begin processing and QuickTrain Modeler will work its way down the list until it's completed. There are two new line of sight capabilities. The first is thread analysis. It's very similar to the traditional QT Modeler line of sight analysis, but it establishes two ranges, detection and engagement. Simply set those ranges, choose your markers, choose create range rings, and click apply. The result is now a banded line of sight, the first inner band being engagement and the outer band being the detection range. The improved vector line of sight tool is both more configurable and more useful in version 831. There's a new button, vector line of sight. Right click on that button to bring up the interface. Set the, your observer height and your observer name. The observer height is the marker that you'll be moving around. And then set the target height. Now to move the vector line of sight, hold down L like you've always done and move around the scene. Hold down L again to get rid of it and close the interface out. Vector line of sight is a very useful tool in conjunction with the new threat analysis line of sight to simulate aircraft movement around known threats. Range arcs are a new addition to the range rings tool. It's found in the same exact interface. It can be accessed from the button or from the R hotkey. Simply check range arcs, and enter a heading, a spread, and choose the radius lines, and click Go. Range arcs appear, just like range rings do, and can be moved the same way, holding down K on the keyboard and moving them around and right-clicking 
to rotate the range arcs. The route time analysis tool provides a very detailed analysis segment by segment along a given route. The checkpoints delineate the segments along the route, right click on the route in the layer tree, pull up the route time analysis tool, enter a speed, and Quick Terrain Modeler will calculate the interval times and the total time along the route. Export to Excel to get even more granularity in adjusting speeds segment by segment. Government users will see three additional capabilities. One is a new grid plugin that enables search and retrieval of data from the grid portal. Two are new labels and naming schemes for GRGs. And the last is a new library of vehicle stencils, such as this MRAP and Humvee. So those are some of the highlights of Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.3.0 and version 8.3.1. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us, info at appliedimagery.com or 301-589-4446. We look forward to hearing from you.